Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. We've got some blue skies now, but some high clouds starting to show up off towards the west. And we'll see increasing clouds as we head through the day today. We're going to see increasing temperatures, too. Again, this morning, minus 19, already up to 6 degrees. Feels more like minus 9, however. Those winds out of the south and southeast at 10 miles per hour. Elsewhere across the region, temperatures are warming on up quite nicely. 9 in Jamestown, 7 in it. That was like minus 2, Roseau, 3 below in Bedette. Minus four in both Thief River Falls and Grand Fork. Some areas, again, saw temperatures 30 degrees below zero or even colder. Faustin, the uh, coldest that we were able to find at minus 33. Right now, wind chills still on the cold side. No wind chill advisory in effect anymore. That was canceled at about 11 o'clock or so, but still cold out there in many locations. Minus 24, your wind chill in Grand Forks. 20 below in Thief River Falls, minus 12 in Bemidji. On the radar, we do have some snow off to our west. Right now, nothing doing in our area, but off towards western North Dakota, we do have snow developing, and this will continue to slide off towards the east as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. We'll start to see snow in the uh, Devil's Lake Basin and the James River Valley here in the next few hours. And by evening time, that'll start to approach the Red River sometime between 6 and 8 o'clock tonight. Across the northern plains, that snow stretches all the way down to the parts of South Dakota and Nebraska and up into southern areas of Canada. Across the United States, we've got that streak of snow. That extends even all the way down into parts of Missouri, Arkansas, and northern Mississippi, seeing a little bit of snow out of this system, a little bit of rain and snow in the Pacific Northwest. And off towards the east, well, no surprise, it's snowing once again in northeastern portions of the country like it has been for pretty much the entire winter. For us, as we head through the rest of the afternoon, temperatures will continue to rise, clouds will continue to increase, and then we'll see that chance for some snow moving on in. It's going to be a light snow, but it's going to be enough to cause some slick conditions across the area. Do keep that in mind if you're traveling late tonight and early tomorrow. That snow is going to linger in the form of some snow showers as we head through much of the day on your Friday, at least for the first half of your Friday. But look at these temperatures warming well into the 20s, even some 30s. Probably going to hang on to the teens in parts of northern Minnesota, but warm air nonetheless, albeit a short-lived bout of warm air. By the end of the day, we're going to start to see some colder air filtering on in, and that chance for snow showers will go away. Today, we've got that chance for snow moving in later. That will go into the overnight hours tonight and through the day tomorrow. An inch or two in most locations, not out of the question. 29 tomorrow, but then back into the deep freeze over the weekend. Not getting above zero for your Sunday, but warming back up on Monday and Tuesday to more seasonable levels with another chance of some light snow. So a little bit of snow tonight, some nuisance snow. It will cause some travel difficulties. Give yourself some extra time to reach your destination. I'm just glad we're a warming up a little because my hands were frozen yeah. this morning. <laughs> For one day, we're going to warm up. One day. Yeah. I, can take, I can take that. Better That's than nice. none. Yes. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm.